Hey friends, it's EMBR here and today I am going to review on the official CM14.1 ROM available for Moto G2. So first of all, I will tell you about the features. As you can see, the lock screen is as same as the Marshmallow. We don't have any kind of tweaks over here and there. It's an first build, so it may contain some kind of bugs over here and there and I'm pretty much positive about it. So I will link XDR profile in the description. So if you want, then you can just uh, report the bugs over there for the sake of the long run of this room. So let's take a look at the room now. Firstly, there is a status bar overall change over here. There is a new dark notification bar and then there is this new animation also available over here. And then now we can edit the tiles as of we, our requirement. There are these new tiles available but I don't think anybody will require that. And then we have this new kind of 6 switch notification bar which is a nice concept for the quick access and it becomes much easier for the uh, switching of different options available there. And then we get a new kind of extra option available into the settings for quick navigation. And then let's take a look at the about the So we can conf confirm that it's Android 7.1 Nougat for Moto G2 2014 which is an nightly build. We have October 5th security patch level. And then we can get the new root access on this device by going into the developer options. So for that click on the build number for like 5 times and then you can see developer options available now. And then just enable root access by selecting apps and adb. And then we get this new network reset for the uh, betterment of the resolution of any kind of network issues over here and there. And then in this room, the RAM management is kind of uh, kick ass for like 1GB. We get about 377 MB free from uh, 884 MB uh, total. On Nogat, it's be best we can get from a 2 years old phone. We get a new animation into the volume bar. And then room is pretty much stable as it's still uh, the first build. We will uh, test the RAM management now. So let's start. So WhatsApp opened quickly. And then Facebook, it's an intense app so it may take some time. And then the music app, it's uh, the same. MX player also opened quickly. And now let's take a look at the gaming performance, okay. Now let's test the uh, Wi-Fi band performance. Also, it was quick. Now let's continue with the game. It's an intense game so be patient. Let's test the graphic performance, it's snappy for like 30 fps, it worked as charm.
So let's take a look at the multitasking performance now. Okay, uh, it didn't restart dope. Into the unofficial review, every app restarted. So I'll be giving cards on uh, over here on the screen, so you can take a look at the unofficial room also. So WhatsApp was nice. Oh, Facebook also didn't restart. Music app uh, also didn't restart. Cool. Okay, MX Player I think so restarted. Play Store also restarted. Game also restarted. Okay. So after multitasking, memory usage is like. So still it's on 57% used. Dope. So let me clear the apps. So now let's take a look at the Geekbench scores. So now I will be back after it's done. It took like 10 minutes to complete this. It's 424 single score and 1139 multi core score. As we can see, S5 has 915 and Nexus has 859. As you can see, I have an S5, but still, it doesn't have any kind of Nogad update available. But this small little Moto G2 has it. Cool, right? And now let's take a look at the NT2 benchmark score. So it's 18,070. It's better compared to the official marshmallow for this device, which is like uh, 16,700. So the camera app now. The shutter speed has gone quick now. Okay. So friends, install the CM launcher given into the description because the official launcher is kind of buggy. Thank you for being with me friends. Like, comment and subscribe. And it's AMB RGA signing out.